Hey guys, this is NASCAR Come On Cup Series here, and this is just kind of a bit of a predictions video, if you will, for um, 2019 and the drivers. So for retained drivers, we're going to have Brad Keselowski, Austin Dillon, Kevin Arvick, Chase Elliott, Eric Comerola, Denny Hamlin, Ryan Blaney, Clint Boyer, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Kyle Busch, Dan Suarez, Eric Jones, Paul Menard, Joey Logano, William Byron, Ryan Newman, Matt DiBenedetto, Michael McDowell, Kyle Larson, Bubba Wallace, AJ Allmendinger, Martin Truex Jr., and Casey K. Now, for the drivers that I believe are going to be changing seats, this is going to get really interesting, because there's been a lot of rumors speculating around, and especially today. So the first change, obviously, a pretty frustrating one, and I don't think it's much of a fair one, but it looks like Kurt Busch will be in the one next year, replacing Jamie McMurray at Ganassi, or will he... Will McMurray actually leave Ganassi? I don't think that's true, but I'll get to that in a bit. So, Kurt Busch, I think he's going to be in the one. Personally, I think he should retire. He's not really doing much lately. So, now, you may notice I don't have Jimmy Johnson because Johnson, I feel like he's not going to be happy with the way Hendrick's going and the fact that he's not really performing as well. I mean, I know he has a contract till the end of 2020, but he has the option to terminate that contract if he wants to. And because of that, I think Tyler Reddick is going to be at Hendrick next year. Very bold call, I know, but I think it's going to happen. Besides, I don't know how, what other drivers they could go with. Maybe they go with, like, a Chris Busher or, I don't know, like, or a Justin Allgaier or something. But I don't see that happening, personally, because I think Allgaier's kind of a bit of a veteran, if you will. And Busher, I feel like he's going to go to a different team. We'll get to that in a bit. But yeah, I think Reddick is going to be in the 5 next year. It's going to be renumbered, so Hendrick still has the 5. Or they will have the 5 back on. Now, next up, Matt Kenseth in the 6. I think this is going to gonna happen. I think it's going to be full-time next year, because Bane is terrible. He literally doesn't have any talent. Just a one-hit wonder. Get him out. Now, next up, Daniel Hemrick in the 13. I feel like... Childress is going to want to promote him, but I don't think they're going to put him in the Childress car. I think Newman's going to have one more season, and then he's going to retire. And then I think it's going to be Hemrick in the 31. That's what I think. Now, the 33, Ty Dillon. I feel like Childress is going to add a third car. Another bold call, I know. But I, again, I think this is going to happen. I feel optimistic that Childress is going to have a third car. Just to get Ty Dillon in there. Because he's actually been pretty decent with that car. With the car he's in. I know he's kind of underperforming from the looks of it. But he is trying. He is trying. So I'm going to give him that chance. And I'm going to put him in the 33. 37. Matt Tift. You notice that Chris Busher's not on here? I'm going to get to him in a sec. Ryan Reed in the 38. Yeah, I think Ryan Reed is going to be... In a 38, replacing David Reagan next year. I feel like Reagan's out. He's kind of past his prime. He's not really doing much. Yeah, I think he's gone. Now for the next one. You know how I said that most of you probably think McMurray is going to be out of Ganassi, right? Well, I feel like there is a chance he could stay. Ganassi has stated that he, that he is very loyal to Jane McMurray and... Doesn't want to get rid of him. So, I feel like with this, with the amount of success they've had in the last few years, they could put Jay McMurray in the third Ganassi car. Why not? It's definitely possible. I think Kurt Busch would still be in the one. But McMurray, it's a way to keep sponsorship. And it's a way to keep his loyalty to Ship Ganassi. Because, because McMurray, I mean, I point this out time and time again, but... McMurray has been super unlucky this year, and almost every instant he's in, or, or every problem he has, is just completely out of his control. And if things had gone his way, we would be, things would be really different right now. Now for Stuart Haas Racing, 41. This is very interesting. A lot of possible candidates. Gene McMurray, obviously. Cole Custer is probably the most likely one, but Stuart Haas has said they're not too sure about Cole Custer. They're not sure about him, and I think... 
This could lead to a bit of a surprise move. I think Chris Buescher could be in the 4-1. I know what you're thinking. Now, this is a very unrealistic choice, but hear me out on this one. If they're not going to go with Custer, if when they have to get rid of Almarola or Boyer, or maybe even Harvick, I think, think they'll, then they'll put Custer in. But since they're saying that Custer may not be in the in the 41 next year, I feel like they could get someone like Chris Busch. I mean, he obviously has the talent. He's been proving it. He's been outperforming that JCG Daughtery 37 car. And he deserves better. He deserves a better ride. Roush was kind of a bit of a flop, if you will, when he was there in 60, and they won a championship with him, obviously. But since then, they've just been absolutely abysmal, and they're kind of falling apart. And I think Busher's not going to really want to go with them, and I feel like the 41 is a good shot. I mean, it's obviously another very bold prediction. I totally get that. I totally get why you probably disagree with this. But I feel like if they're not going to go with Custer... And if McMurray wants to stay at Ganassi, and if Ganassi wants to keep McMurray, I feel like as someone like Chris Buescher is a great option because he has talent. He's obviously a pretty young driver, and I feel like he can definitely display the skill to get some wins. Next up. Now, there's been rumors that look, that Furniture Racing might not be with Gibbs anymore in terms of like their alliance. Like, they're with him, because remember they had Eric Jones in the 77 and all that? Yeah, apparently it looks like that ship has sailed, and they're looking for another team to switch to Toyota and to get extra promote, promote Gibbs drivers. Well, I think that is where Christopher Bell would go. I mean, I know he's probably going to stay in Xfinity next year, but again, I feel like if they want to promote somebody, they are going to promote Bell to Cup. For a year, maybe just get him sorted in there and all that. And I feel like in that 59, he could attempt to get some good results. And I feel like, I think Levine Field Racing, they could be the next furniture row. Where they do amazing within the next few years. I think it's going to take time. But I feel like Bell's going to be in the 59 next year in the second Levine Field Racing car. And again, Levine Family Racing, they've had a second car before. They had the 59 with Michael McDowell for a few races a few years ago. So it could definitely happen. I feel like the line Final Racing is a good choice. Because there's also a bit of a rising team, if you will. So next up. Actually, no. Sorry, that's it. That's it. So uh, thanks for watching. These are just my predictions. Leave yours down below. And I'll talk to you soon.